Yeah, fiddleheads. So here we are. <laughs> Again with my shadow, but I can't do too much about that. So I wanted to show you guys, like, just this tendency how they push right through. Like, this is the best time to pick them when they're really nice and low. And just gonna, but look how they just pierce through all this like wood and all the dead stuff from over the winter. And look, even like it's so hard with my shadow there. But look how the root is just, and you see the, just, you know, that's just amazing to me. Like, but yeah, here we are, and we try to leave, you know, one or two per bunch per plant, and not, and you just kind of twist. Twist and clip. I grab this guy, and like in the other video, we've got all the, the sort of the casting or the shell there. Sorry, I'm trying to look, watch my angle and see what I'm doing. Grab another one there. Yeah, maybe this guy. Yeah, leave those two. And that's our fiddleheads. Like I'm just amazed by nature's beauty. How she survives and. Rose dies, comes back to life. Ciao. Okay, so here's my. I'm gonna grab a spoon. <laughs> okay, so here's my fiddleheads that I kind of cleaned and rinsed out. Remove all the like the brown, uh, you know, skin or casing. I don't know what you would call it as they begin to shoot through and and uh, so and then we have a chef next door too and I confirmed with him that yeah you want to boil for about 10 minutes so they're just starting to boil now I'm gonna set my timer yeah because with fiddleheads you want to make sure you boil them clean them nicely I drain them and soak them even a little bit in some cool water and let those boil. Turn it down just a little bit. Yeah. Wow. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a little bit each time as I kind of experiment with these. Because again, you, maybe if you have a sensitive stomach or system, you may want to watch the intake of how many you take. Um, but yeah, this is at the young age when they are um, edible as long as you clean them and boil them for that amount of time. And but so that what I'm gonna do is freeze a little bit of and like maybe some baggies that way and then I'm gonna make a stir fry got lots of veggies and then some brown rice and I'm gonna try to put them in my stir fry like maybe just a little bit of a handful and I've got some supply for uh, a couple of weeks freeze them and see how I like them um, I know they're quite strong tasting and fairly uh, you know I would say like earthy or green tasting but that's why I, I think a lot of people just say they saute them in butter and maybe a bit of onion. And I figured uh, if I add some more veggies and flavors to it, it'll sort of uh, be a nice way to kind of adjust and get used to the flavor and the taste. And I may report back. And once I try to eat a few and see how, uh, see if I like them or not and share that. Cheers. Mmm, boiling, boiling. Okay, so I got some veggies stir frying here and I added a chunk of butter in the middle and threw some fiddle heads, added some spices, then I'm going to throw in my uh, brown rice and maybe a little bit of tomato sauce and some soy sauce and we're going to give it a try, see how it tastes. It smells good and yeah I can definitely tell when I just kind of tried a little, a little uh, bite of the fiddle heads there definitely a strong tasting so we'll see how all, all that works together for flavor okay so here's the final verdict I omitted the tomato sauce and I added some organic Tabasco to give it some zip and just some Worcestershire and I had lots of uh, butter when I did added the fiddleheads and then before that I just fried the veggies a little bit of coconut oil added my rice and here we go for a test. Mm. Some fiddlehead in there. Mm. Tastes good. Everything's kind of you know, mixed in there. Super yummy. Yum yum. You're still living off the land.
Do you need to sign off for 19 tribes?